Say hello, everybody. It's Vitaly over here at OG Gamers World, and we are back. And today we are going to unbox Rocat's Cinemax Air wireless headset. This is it right here. It comes in a nice, attractive box. It is both wireless and Bluetooth, and we'll get more into that later. Now, I have not opened this box, so I guess I need to get a knife and cut to it. Wait, you know what? Let's just see if I can peel it off. Get that right there for right now. We're going to go ahead and open it up. It comes in a beautiful presentation. Let's switch to the overhead, see if y'all can see this in the overhead. But we're going to just flip that over like that. First up is the headset itself. It is going to have the plastic sticker over where the microphone goes on. We'll get to that later. Let's pull the insert out here. And in the bottom, you're going to have the, the charging dock. Then it's going to have a box with the, the microphone and cables in it. And then you're going to have the quick start guide and warranty service. We're just going to drop that back in the box for now. This is what's in the box. Okay, that's it for the unboxing. Let's move on to setting it up. Okay, we're back, and uh, we're going to talk about setting up your Rocat Send Max Air. If you have not already done it, the first thing you need to do is come over here to www.rocat.com. Click on Downloads. Click on Driver Software. And you're going to download and install Swarm. Now, I've already done that, and because I already had a headset before, it, uh, it's already set up, so we're going to try to get to some of this the best that we can. Uh, once you get Rocat downloaded and installed, you need to launch it, and because I use other Rocat products, they're, they are found here. When you first connect your headset, it very well, may very well ask you to do a firmware update, in which case, what you need to do is take one cable off the base, so that, that one's going directly to your computer. And then you need to plug it into the USB port on the bottom of the headset. Take the other end of the base, move it over to the computer side, and make sure that it's also plugged in to the computer. And then you can do the firmware updates. For this purpose, we're going to come in, and on the bottom of the base, when you get ready to just, after you've done the update and stuff, all you need to do, you've got a couple of options when it comes to hooking up this base. You can take the cable that's marked computer, plug it into the computer side of the base. It's clearly marked. I know you can't see it that well in the video, but maybe you can over here. Plug that into a USB port on your computer. And that would be enough to have it up and going. And then you're going to want to charge your headset up for a little bit. If you want it to charge, even when the computer is turned off, you can either A, go into BIOS or Windows and tell it to not turn off your USB ports when, the, when, when the, you power the computer off. And that would allow it to charge over just the one cable. However... If you don't want to do that, or, or it's easier, 
take the second cable with the, the, the lightning bolt on it, plug it into the port with the lightning bolt on it, and plug that into a USB wall wart and plug it into the wall, and then your headset will still charge even though you don't have power. It's, it's charging now. They, they rate the batteries on this headset for 16 hours. And I get a lot more than 16 hours out of it. I, I can go days at a time. However, uh, I always advise that you set your headset back onto the charging dock when not in use. It, when you set it in, it'll automatically uh, turn the headset off and start charging. Keep in mind, if you turn your computer off, and you have the headset connected to your phone using a phone, it's still going to cut the headset off. So keep that in mind. Anyway, there's not a lot to setting your headset up. You can pair it to your computer and your, uh, well, it, it, it pairs to the base. So let's be, let's be fair here. And then the Bluetooth side, you can pair it to your phone. You can also use this via Bluetooth on your computer if your computer supports that particular Bluetooth. I hope that helps. Till next time, this is Vitaly over here at OG Gamers World. Y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world today. And I'm out of here.